The Power World Sakurajima expansion is right around the corner and Pocket Pair recently dropped a trailer for this expansion and today we are going to break this thing down frame by frame to uncover all of the secrets inside of this trailer. We start off here zooming into someone that is riding on a mount through a cherry blossom forest which is fitting because Sakurajima means cherry blossom in Japanese but before we zoom all all the way into the character we see this bird pal running across the path in the background as we get closer we also see this pal here meditating under a tree as well as this armadillo looking pal staring at a lamp as we get closer to the player this mount that they're riding on looks like a new pal as well let me know down in the comments if i'm wrong there but we also see these two flower looking pals twirling on the side of the path as well as two pals on the pillars out in the front of this house. Personally, I think that these pals are the one that the player is riding. But aside from that, Pocket Pair did say that they expanded the building in Pal World and I think that this would be a really cool addition if we could assign pals to these pillars as decorations, if you will. That is just speculation though, so take it for what you will. But we then change scenery here to a mushroom swamp forest with a frog pal on this bridge, as well as a few mushroom pals in the background. Again, the scenery changes back to a Japanese styled house with some pals in front of it that kind of show off the different subspecies that are coming into the game. I'm also hoping that these building changes that Pocket Pair said are going to include these houses. It would be really nice to be able to build with these, not to mention the statue of the Dragon Pal as the centerpiece of the house. All of that would just be amazing to put together. That of course is all just speculation here though, but you can see this pathway here and even the lighting, which are both things that really could elevate the building inside of this game. So I'm really hoping that these are teasers as to what we might be able to do. We have another change of scenery here into a bamboo forest where we have a pal sit down to take a bit of a rest. I can't tell if this is a subspecies or a new pal entirely, but then we have a ghost pal spawn out of thin air. I personally am really excited about this with some of the new pals, not because of the pals themselves necessarily, but more so because it reminds me of the possibilities. Sometimes I really get stuck in this air, earth, water, fire, electric pal cycle, completely forgetting about the rest of the possible elements. We then get to see a metal dragon looking pal swipe at the camera. And next up we have this chest pal pop up in the middle of these three chests. And I gotta tell you, I'm excited for this. Maybe you will be able to farm chests in some way, shape, or form at your base. But we then get another look at the Ghost Pal, followed up by probably my favorite reveal of this entire trailer, which is this paladin looking tank pal. Next up though, we see those mushroom pals from earlier fighting a little bit here, while Pocket Pair brings up that Xbox is now gonna be getting dedicated servers. And that right there is massive. I'm sure that Xbox players are insanely hyped up for that. Let me know down in the comments if you are on Xbox and will be jumping onto those dedicated servers day one. But in the next fight, we see another look at that bird pal that we talked about in the beginning, as well as a slight glimpse at the armor here, which has a symbol on the back, which I will talk about a little bit later. The next fight has a closer look at the frog pal, as well as this minigun here against the boss version of that paladin pal. And in the next scene, we get to see a look at someone's base where they are mining sulfur nodes, as well as coal nodes is really good to see more nodes at the base being added into the game but aside from that a question that i had earlier gets answered because it sure does look like you will be able to build in that new style of building also this doesn't really pertain to anything but this building right here seems to be floating i'm not sure but they then give us a closer look at some of these new subspecies but more excitingly they show us this new raid which has this giant dark Blazemut looking pal and Blazemut was one of my favorite pals inside of my solo playthrough so I am really excited about this one but next up we get a look at the oil stronghold which is going to be a stationary platform I don't know if the location of this will be static or if perhaps it's going to 
rotate every day, or maybe it's going to have a different spawn location for each server or each map that you load up into. Either way though, this is going to be a place for you to get into some gunfights with the soldiers as well as snag some loot. We even get to see some of the combat on this oil rig and the people seem to drop a boatload of supplies. It will be interesting for sure to see how they end up working this exactly. We also get to see a little bit of this flamethrower in action. But the next scene is probably the most confusing for me because most of the AI seems confused or broken. There's a pal in the background, which seems to be an enemy pal. And then this turret here seems to be hacked or hijacked in some way and is shooting at the big guy with the minigun. I have no idea what's going on here. I'm guessing we're still on the oil rig, but I don't even know that for sure. So I don't know. Now I'm just kind of wondering how much loot is gonna end up being on these things because it looks like there's a decent amount of fighting going on there. But next up, we get a small glimpse at the arena, which looks like it's going to be three versus three pals and players versus each other inside of a small arena. This is one of the things that I am the most interested in for this expansion. I'm wondering if this is gonna be their final version of PVP or if maybe they are just experimenting here. Let me know down in the comments how you would want to see PVP work inside of PAL World. But we also get a look at the back of the armor, which now seems to have elemental symbols on them. I'm wondering if this perhaps is going to be a new form of armor or a new enchantment on our armor that we can put on, which will increase or even start to cause elemental damage. Or maybe it's just some sort of resistance style thing. Let me know down in the comments if you think we might be looking at some sort of imbue system here. I think that would fit really well into the POW world fantasy, being able to imbue your bullets with elemental damage. You can already do that through your POWs. So having that additional boost through your armor might be where they're going next. And then with this final scene of the trailer, we get a look at the new faction and boss where this lady is sitting on a moon looking thing, sipping tea with her pal. The moon definitely seems like it's a part of the pal, but regardless, this duo looks insane. I am really excited to jump into this. Let me know what excites you the most when it comes to this POW World expansion. If you made it this far in the video, comment made it down below so I can give you an extra shout out. But that is all of the information that I wanted to go over. I hope you guys all have an amazing day. I'm out.